one. So this is my Hubson um, H109S. So this is uh, kind of like the Phantom, the way it's set up, stuff like that. But uh, at first I got the high-end edition and it came with a three-axis gimbal and it has a touch tone transmitter. I wound up paying about eight, nine hundred dollars for that and the there's something wrong, I don't know, the transmitter, the range on it was only like a hundred meters or something like that. So I was very disappointed. I flew it a couple times, couldn't figure out what was wrong with the range. So I decided to turn that one back in and then I, I knew that the range could be a lot farther on, on these uh, from what I've seen on YouTube from everyone else who gets like a thousand you know, meter range and that's what it was specify spec to have a thousand feet range so um, so I went ahead and bought another one that's just a standard edition with the standard uh, uh, what is it uh, transmitter which is this is a regular standard transmitter that you know helps and comes with a lot of their uh, crafts that they have they use this type of transmitter now I have I have good luck with Hubson. I bought my first drone that really flies well. It's a small one. It's the Hubson 502S. I really like that. So you know, and I wanted to give them another try because you know, unlike I love my Mavic. You know, I have that, and that is the best drone on the market, I believe. Anyway, for the size and transportability and travel. The Mavic is probably the best and it's very reliable, steady, you know, you know, if you want to fly a great drone and professionally use the DJI products like a Mavic or a Phantom. But this one, it doesn't have all the extra sensors so I picked this one up for like $300 off eBay from China. and. Uh, so this is just a regular standard package and then I added a 3 axis gimbal for another $150. So it came out to be about, you know, $450. But it didn't have all the sensors like all the DJI products. But what it does, you know, do is I, I have tested this one and I got the range of about almost 700 meters so I think I can adjust some stuff and I might be able to go farther but I'm happy with that range I can go pretty far with it and it's uh, GoPro, GoPro compatible and I'll show you some of the footage here with some of the GoPros um, that I use on here but the, the original camera seemed to be seems to be the best because the GoPro I, I noticed man I don't know if it's the Wi-Fi that's on it I might have to readjust that but it affected the signal that was coming in the FPV signal it, at a certain range when I get to like 500 well no more like 200 meters it, the, the FPV video would turn into black and white I don't know why but I think it's because their GoPro seemed to happen that way so and then besides that product so this is the original if you can see that the original gimbal that came with the um, with the standard package and then um, the thing I like about this also it also comes with this um, it's a cell phone holder so it's a one axis gimbal cell phone holder, her, holder. so uh, you know imagine what you could do with this you know you adjust this and you put your smartphone on here you can do a live stream on Facebook or something if you want to you know, show, show some videos. So I think this is a good idea and I think it's going to be useful for later when I want to do some live stream video. So basically I would have to take this one off and snap this one back in so it's not that hard to do. So, but what I'm going to do, I haven't even used this yet, but uh, so, but I'm done with this original one axis one and I'll show you on the video what the one axis gimbal, the standard gimbal look like and then I'll show you on the video the three axis gimbal with the original camera and the, the, this ax, then this gimbal also with a GoPro. So, and then we'll compare it and you'll see what it all looks like. So, alright, uh, that's it.
for now and I'll show you the comparison video on all of them.